Hey guys, welcome back to Texas Size Gardening. Today we're planting watermelons. I'm planting Black Tail Mountain as well as the Sugar Baby Bush variety. Um, I'm in the city so I, I don't have that much space in my backyard so I'm going to maximize vertical growing. Now if you haven't already taken a look at my planting and containers video, I'll link it to this. But as always, you want to start off by drilling holes into your container. What this does is it allows for the water to filter out your nutrients, your compost, and anything that you have in there doesn't become mush. I'm going to take my garden mesh. This allows for the soil to stay in the container, but the water to drip out. And I'm just going to cut it down to size so I can put it on the inside of this container. Now that we've cut our fabric down to size, I'm going to go ahead and stick it in down at the bottom. Next I'm going to add my compost. As I'm putting my soil in here, I'm going to tell you guys that watermelon, like cucumber, is a giant, giant nutrition sucker. <laughs> So it needs tons and tons of nutrition from the dirt that you're providing them, especially when you're not going to grow them in the ground. So make sure you provide as much compost, as much organic content, worms, organic fertilizers to your soil as often as possible. Of course, anything that I mix or I'm going to plant seedlings, I always sprinkle some of my Dr. Earth in there get them started the right way. Also, I'm going to grab my earthworm castings. If you don't have earthworm castings, you could do earthworm tea or you could do something like fish emulsion as well. Okay, now you're going to need some kind of a trolling system if you're going to grow them vertical like I am. So I'm just going to use a good old-fashioned tomato cage. I'm going to stick it right in there. And then as the watermelons get bigger, I'll add one to the top but I'll invert it and I'll make another video as they get bigger as well to show you guys okay now comes the fun part which is planting your seeds now normally the blacktail mountain and the sugar baby bush because they're such a compact variety they'll give you about two to three watermelons per seed or per vine that grows so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go around and I'm going to put two holes underneath each one and then I'll do two more somewhere in here as well. So definitely want to grow the sugar baby bush. That one has high reviews. It's always a sweet variety. It's very easy to grow. And I'm planting this somewhere here in our backyard that gets at least eight to ten hours a day. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to put one, two holes with my finger. And then just to make sure that everything germinates correctly, I always put two seeds per hole. Next up is the black tail melon, and this is a giant container, so I feel comfortable growing one, two, three vines for the sugar baby, and then growing three vines for the black tail mountain watermelon. Again, I'm utilizing vertical growing here, and if you have a smaller container, or you're not going to grow vertical, then you definitely need to do maybe one to two per container. Now, I personally, before I cover it with a little bit of soil on top of the seeds I planted, I like to put my markers at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and stick in here my markers. And hopefully my little ones don't come and move my markers on me, which they've done quite often. And um, sometimes like the okra bed, we don't know which okra is which one until you start to harvest them. But that's the joy of being a little kid gardening. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to add some of my potting soil, just gently 
on top of where I planted the seeds just to kind of gently cover them. And again, I have my potting soil just a tad bit moist just to help out. All right, and that's it. That is how easy it is to plant watermelons. And as these guys grow, I'll do continuation videos on my channel and show you how they come about, how they look, and then we'll harvest them. And we'll do a taste test also. Have a good one. See you next time.